So then, first thing to start turn nine, let's get our eye on the ball and have a look at some motion tracker cards that we'll be dealing with at the end of the turn. Ooh. Okay. Exhaust four cards are placed one at spawn two with two on four. Within the ceiling, place a tunnel token. To place two blips on this tunnel token, place three blips on all tunnel tokens. Not good. Uh, either discard one barricade or place a second blip at one, so two at one basically. And one at four. Yeah, it was not placed on spawn point with him on a slightly. Okay. Right, I'm not going to lie, that tunnel one, that really quite scares me. Um, mainly because we do have a lot of equipment cards out here, so it's more likely we're going to get a blue one. And I know we've discarded a lot of yellow ones as part of other hazards. So I think it is highly likely we will draw a blue and get three blips on all tunnel tokens. Not just the new one, but that old one back there as well. So I think we're going to have to use an action in a second to reshuffle that motion tracker deck and potentially try and get rid of it. Or... For the same reason why I think that would go off, I think this wouldn't work because we'd probably get a blue and have to exhaust the motion tracker. Yeah, so let's rely instead on uh, reshuffling this later in the turn, I think. So then, first things first, rip the activates and immediately exhausts five cards. So she gets three turns, and I don't want to do anything with any of them, I have to say. Um, we've still got that on her. So we need to end a turn outside of line of sight of Xenomorphs, which is currently in because of that black wall there. She can't see that one down there. So we really needed to stay there. Um, it might be worth just uh, resting three times. Plus, uh, yeah, so let's rest three times. So we'll recycle nine cards in. And as part of that rest action, let's draw two. Body armor and an event. And at the end of the character's activation, oh, hang on, at the end of the character's activation, exhaust two cards in addition, discard if they're in line of sight. So we should have exhausted two from last turn, and then two from this turn as well. Okay, not great, but uh, better than nothing. So hopefully next turn we can get rid of that hazard card. But uh, for now, let's worry about the rest of the Xenomorphs on the board. So let's start with Hicks, uh, reveal a card for the re-equip. Helmet, does he want a helmet? Yes, he does, he's got no armour. One helmet for Hicks, and let's open up with that smart gun. Spends three cards for the privilege. Shooting into that lead Xenomorph first, hitting on sixes or less. Misses! Oh no, that's bad. Um, mm. Fair amount of Xenomorphs down there. Uh, let's try that again, shall we? One, two, three, hitting on fives or less. Kills one, spends a card. Fours or less. Kills two, spends a card. Threes or less. No, but we did kill two. So one, two Xenomorphs are gone. So quite an expensive one, that. But uh, definitely could have been better. Uh, so let's get Vasquez to open up with the pulse rifle into those Xenomorphs down there. Spending a card. Hits on a six or less. Misses. And for a second turn, let's just recycle some cards back in. One, two, three. Um, do we want to do anything about that blip there? Because if we round the corner, we are going to see it. And it is going to get us next time. Let's actually, yeah, let's step Drake around. One, two. To see that blip, it's three Xenomorphs. So his first action was to step around. So for his next one, we'll spend two cards to open up with his smart gun, hitting on fives or less. Kills one, spends a card, fours or less. Kills another, spends another card, threes or less. Yes, excellent. So, Drake stepped around the corner and just blitzed those Xenomorphs. Very, very good. And because of that, oh, actually reveal for the re-equip for Drake. Ah, oh, great. Reveal a card and then recycle this card. Revealing, it's yellow. Draw two endurance card. Oh, okay. That actually kind of worked in our favour. Uh, draw two endurance cards. Two events. Okay, cool. Actions. So we'll do Hudson, revealing for his re equip. Combat knife. Does Hudson want a combat knife? He's got a pulse rifle. 
Does he therefore need a pistol? Uh, we'll keep the pistol. Just because um, a pistol will always hit on a roll of three or less, and say if we open up with a pulse rifle on one turn, we need to uh, defensify, that pistol will be quite handy to have. So yeah, we'll not take that knife. And we will get him to rest twice and get six cards back in. One, uh, a pwn, revealing for the re-equip. Don't get it. And we shall get him to uh, rest twice as well. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're doing much, but we desperately need to get the cards back in because we've had to discard a lot this game. And uh, Ripley is very expensive still, so we uh, need to keep on top of that, especially while I've got some breathing room. So, that's all the Marines done. Going into the Aeons then, there are two active Xenomorphs on the board. They move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Blips on this board. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then the rest can kind of filter them in. Blips on this board. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And yeah. So, and then a blip on this bit here. He moves four. One, two, three, four. So that door is currently closed, so we can't see that blip there. Okay, so two distinct conga lines forming. Yeah, I've done a bit of a goof here. I've completely forgot to reshuffle the motion tracker deck like I wanted to, so we're going to have to play it as seen because I'm out of actions with everything. So, first one, blip on four. Uh, it's not in line of sight, moves four. One, two, three, four. Two blips on four. Either exhaust four cards or place another blip at two. Uh, you can have that other blip at two, don't much care about that. We desperately need those cards at the moment. And then two on four. Blip on one. Uh, discard a barricade in play or place a second blip at spawn one. Uh, you can have two at spawn one, I think. One, two. And the one I hated the look of, place a tunnel token. Right, so tunnel token goes next to Ripley there, and we reveal a card. As I thought it would be, it's blue. Place three blips on all tunnel tokens. Great. Okay, so I've got the blips on the board, so let's have a look at what's under them. Three, two, two, could be worse. Four, four, one. Okay. <laughs> I was distinctly concerned there for a second. And we can see all the way down to two for that one. That is a single morph on its own. So, let's get those models on the board. Okay, so it is suddenly very crowded around our marines as a whole host of xenomorphs have just dropped in from the ceiling. Um, very concerned for Ripley at the moment. She's kind of out on her own at the minute, but uh, she does have a flamer, so hopefully she can really ebb those numbers down. But uh, let us see as we move into turn 10. And at the start of turn 10, we get another one of these cards. Let's see if I can find something to get rid of that hazard. So, I've had a look through the cards. The one I was thinking of was being an example. However, that is stopping you from getting ones that you would draw onto your character. It doesn't get rid of ones that are already there. So, not good. So, I've gone instead for the hero we need. This character may be able any defense while they make keeping the second result. So, hopefully we can try and keep Ripley in the game a little bit longer. Uh, also, start the turn. Let's reveal some motion tracker cards as part of Iron the Ball. Let's see what we got. Tunnel. Not good. Okay, so... Hmm. So they're not bad. The problem is we've got another dilemma again. If we get another blue one, place two blips on every tunnel token as well as... So then we'd have three tunnel tokens on the board. We'd have six more blips coming in. I do not care for that. So we're going to have to recycle. And remember to recycle it out this time. Start off, we exhaust five cards from Ripley. I think we'd better be equipping some stuff actually, so we'll spend a card to equip Ripley with some of that body armor we got. Well, it costs nothing to equip, so yeah, we'll equip the motion tracker as well, straight to Ripley. Okay, and... So, we've got our three actions to do, I've already paid the five at the start of. So, let's use that motion tracker. Free action, reveal a card. We're looking for a green or a yellow. We get a blue, exhaust this card. Great, so we don't even get to... So, tried to use the motion tracker, immediately broke, and then that's back in the deck. Great. 
So first action for Ripley has to be then reshuffling this deck. I don't want that card anywhere near me. Okay, so reshuffle the motion tracker deck. And that was first action for Ripley, so she's got two more. Let's try and flame some of these Xenomorphs, shall we? So we're going to fire the flame onto this one at the back, so it's going to splash onto those two, but not damage yourselves. Spending two cards to fire it. So every Xenomorph dies on seven or less. This stack of three, seven or less. One lives. One dies. Uh, only one dies. One Xenomorph gone out of there. That stack of two directly in front of it, seven or less. Kills one, one lives, just the one gone, and then the two at the back, seven or less, one lives, both live, not good, um, we're going to have to spend two cards to fire again, exact same place, exact same deal, this one directly in front of us, seven or less, yes, kills it. Uh, this one here, these two, seven or less. One lives, one dies. Those two at the back, one dies, one lives. So only two Xenomorphs left. Okay, so most are gone. The problem is though, is that Ripley is now in line of sight. So not only do we um, exhaust two cards at the end of her turn, we also discard two. That discard pile is getting worryingly high. Okay then, so rest the Marines. Uh, I'm very worried about Drake, so let's do him first. Uh, revealing for the re-equip, don't get it. And then we'll fire off his smart gun to the Xenomorphs in front of him. That one directly in front of him first. Uh, two dice hitting on fives or less. Missed. Second action, same deal, two cards. Four or less. Kills it. Good. At least the closest one's dead, so we do actually get defensive fire with him later. And then into there. Spend a card. Threes or less. Nope. Misses. And that's Drake done. Not good. Kind of need to get Hicks in a position to give a Ripley a hand, so we'll get him to move one, two, three, down to there. We'll get him to fire his smart gun, spending three cards to do so. Hitting this Xenomorph here on... Sixes or less. Kills it. Spend another card. Fives or less. Uh, kills that. They're both gone. Um, can draw a line of sight to those Xenomorphs down there, so let's keep going with Hicks. Spending another card. Uh, fours or less onto that one. Uh, misses. Okay, Vasquez would be good to have near Drake because of that shotgun she has. Um, so, let's get her to step over. One, two... Three, four, just down to there. And then we'll get her to open up with her pulse rifle into those xenomorphs. So spending the card to do so, we're gonna to have to discard any future ones. Into this one, sixes. Kills one. Discarding a card, we've got no endurance left. Fives. No, misses. That's fast goes done. But we did kill one. Better than nothing. Okay, um, as tempting as it is to just keep shooting, I think we're going to have to brace to receive a charge at the moment. So, uh, uh, opponent can see if they go there, Hudson can see if they go there, so let's just get them both to rest twice and get a total of 12 cards back in our endurance hand. Okay, and that's the Marines. So, this is where it's going to turn sour for us, I think. So, moving into the alien phase, active aliens. Uh, these ones come in, and one to three they have a poke at Drake, four to six it's Vasquez, it's Vasquez they go after. Uh, how many's in that stack? Three currently, but uh, they didn't move to get there, so we can defensive fire. Let's get Vasquez to fire first, spending a card to do so, hitting on a five or less. Kills one, spend another card, four or less. No, just kills one. Uh, then let's get uh, Hudson, he has a pulse rifle, gets Hudson to fire, hitting on six or less, kills one, spends another card, five or less, kills two, they're both gone, good stuff. Uh, then the next pile comes in, and they 
One to three have a go at Drake. Yes, they do. They have a go at Drake. Uh, let's get Hudson to keep shooting with his pulse rifle. Spends a card to do so. Hits on a four or less. Yep. Kills one. Spends a card. Three or less. Yes. Spends a card. Two or less. No. But we did manage to kill two from there. Uh, next, let's get uh, let's get Vasquez to fire off her shotgun. Spends a card to do so, and a shotgun always hits on at least a five or less. <sighs> Misses. Uh, let's get a point fire's pistol then. Hits on a six or less. No, but we can spend a card anyway because it's a pistol five or less. Yes, kills one. So there's only one xenomorph left. So have a go at Drake. So, rolling against Drake's defense of five and his melee of two. Star, he kills it in melee. Yes, Drake. Bashes it about the head with a smart gun. Nice. Okay, that went better than I was fearing. So, rest of the Xenomorphs to move then. They move six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, damn. I didn't think they'd actually be in range, but they are. Uh, one to three, they have a go at a pwn. Nope, they have a go at Hudson. Um, speaking of a pwn, let's get him to fire off his pistol, hitting on a four or less. Uh, no, but spending a card. Uh, three or less. Yes, kills one with his pistol so far. And let's get uh, Hudson to fire off. Nope, misses. Um, hmm. uh, let's get Vasquez to shoot the shotgun. Last card. Hits on a five or less. Yes! Kills it with the shotgun. Okay. We're still in business. Uh, this Xenomorph moves six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not enough to attack. And this one moves six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, um, I'm actually amazed we survived that unscathed, but uh, we've still got blitz to go on this board. How far do they move? One. Okay, that's good. Blips on this board. They move five. One, two, three, four, five. And blips on this board. They move four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And they should have been on that board as well. Uh, that blip moves five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, that door is now open so it can be seen. It's two. And those two up there, they move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reveal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reveal. Okay, so a couple of xenomorphs over there. Uh, let's do the motion tracker cards before we get any models on though. Because uh, we can get them all at once that way. First one. Flip at one. If it's not in line of sight, it immediately moves. Uh, spawn one is not in line of sight, so it moves four spaces. One, two, three, four. It's in line of sight now. It's two xenomorphs. Next one. Flip on one. Uh, reveal a card. Yellow. Nothing. Okay. So we just get the one at spawn one. Next one. Another blip at one. If it already has one, it moves four spaces. It does already have one, so one, two, three, four. And can be seen from there. It's four xenomorphs. How many did we do on there? Yep, last one. Blip at two. Either discard a barricade to play or put another one at one. Uh, no barricades to play, so one at two, one at one. Okay, so looking at approximately eight xenomorphs there. 10? Yeah, 10. So let's get some models on the board. Okay then, so a lot of Xenomorphs are coming in from spawn point one and there is one hell of a conga line developing around spawn three. Uh, and we have completely ran out of endurance cards so we're gonna have to discard any exhaust cards until we can actually refresh them, which is not good. But moving into then, turn 11. So, start turn 11. Let's take a sneak peek with eye of the ball on uh, some of these upcoming motion trackers. Oh, another bloody tunnel one. 
Two blips on this, three blips on all. Ugh. We cannot deal with a tunnel. If we get another tunnel placed with us, that's it. That's game over. I'm going to have to reshuffle those. So, But uh, it is cost an action to do so, so I'll have to wait until I actually have some actions in order to do that. So go back on for now. Okay. Uh, right. Ripley activates. Start of activation. No cards to come out of there, so we have to discard five cards instead of exhaust. One, two, three, four, five. I do not like the way this is looking. Oh, we're just going to have to sit pretty and recycle some, aren't we? I mean, we're going to discard two anyway, but is there any way we could... One, two, three... No, because we wouldn't be able to run past that Xenomorph. If we go around there, we're going to see those, so there's no way that Ripley isn't going to be looking at a Xenomorph this turn. I think we're just going to have to recycle some back in. That's the only thing we can really do. Okay, so Ripley has rested three times, getting nine cards back in, but at the end of a turn, we can see a Xenomorph, so we have to discard two in addition to exhausting two. Yeah, Ripley's going to bleed us dry, I think, in terms of cards. But, anyway, uh, everyone else, so let's start with Hudson, a really card for the rear equip. Pulse Rifle. Does Hudson want a Pulse Rifle? He's already got one. Don't need it. Um, so, let's see if we can shoot down those two Xenomorphs there. Spending a card to open up with his Pulse Rifle. Hits on six or less. Nope. Misses. Spends another card for his second action to attempt again. Fives. Kills one. Spends another card. Fours. No. Just kills the one. Uh, let's get a Pwn. A revealing. Arc Welder. Kind of don't need that, he's already got armor and stuff, so no, we're not going to use that. Um, so let's get him to fire his pistol off into that xenomorph right there. Uh, so hitting on a six or less, nope, spends a card, Five. so miss with the second one as well. So nothing good there. Uh, let's just get him to recycle some cards one, two, three, and I think. We might just have to accept the fact we're going to get charged. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, even if we kill those, that guy's coming in. But it would be better to shoot them down en route. So let's try and get Drake to kill those three Xenomorphs there. Spends two cards to open up with his smart gun. Hitting, where's me the dice? There. Hitting on fives or less. <laughs> Misses. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, no, we're not wasting another two cards to have a go at that. So we'll get him to rest and recycle three. Uh, also revealing for the re-equip. Don't get it. And Vasquez revealing for the re-equip. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, yeah, let's replace a helmet with that. So at least with that, we can exhaust the medical scanner to stand up a knockdown character. And as well, I forgot, she's got a flare. So instead of... Uh, discarding the whole thing with the uh, eye on the ball on the motion trackers. Let's do the free action on this to discard this card and have a look at the top four. We know what they are. You may place one of those at the bottom of the motion tracker deck. So let's find that card that I really did not care for. It was this one. That can go at the bottom. They can go back on. Okay, and that was a free action. So we'll get her to rest twice and get six cards back in. So, uh, any phase then. So, active Xenomorphs. This one comes in. One to three, it attacks a pwn. Nope, it attacks Hudson. Let's get a pwn to fire off his pistol though. Uh, first shot's free, hits on a four or less. Nope, second shot isn't, hits on a three or less. Misses. Uh, Hudson, fire your pulse rifle. Hitting on a three or less? Yep, three or less. No. Ah, I should have fired his pistol, doesn't matter. Um, Vasquez can see through there. Let's get her to fire her shotgun, spends a card to do so, hits on a five or less. No! <laughs> God damn it. Uh, okay. It's just the one. It's just the one, so I'm hoping, let's not fire the smart gun, let's just hope they can survive the one Xenomorph. So, uh, going after Hudson then. Uh, Hudson's defense value is 5 and his melee is 1. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> that's a kill okay uh, he does have a helmet though so reveal a card and we're looking for a green it's not a green he's dead Hudson dies <laughs> oh dear not good <laughs> oh this is the beginning of the end I think uh, okay rest of xenomorphs this one moves in one two three uh, one two three attacks Drake it does so, opponent's tied up so he can't fire defensively. Drake will fire a smart gun. Two cards to do so. Hitting on fours or less. Kills one, spends another card. Three or less. Nope, just kills the one. Okay, and spend a card for Vasquez to fire a shotgun. He always hits on a five or less. No! So that Xenomorph has a go, and said it was Drake, on yep. So Drake has a defense of five and a melee of two. Ooh, he survives. Okay, fine with that. That is okay. Drake survives the melee attack from that Xenomorph. Good stuff. And uh, next one comes in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Technically, they're both tied up with that one, so no defensive fire. Uh, one to three attacks Drake. No, it goes after Vasquez. Uh, Vasquez has a defensive three and a melee of one. Oh, actually has a defensive four because of the shotgun and a melee of two thanks to the shotgun. Doesn't matter. She <laughs> she's dead as well. Oh no! There goes Vasquez. <laughs> oh boy. Um, next xenomorph. One, two, three, four, five. Can't get six. Uh, the rest all shimmy on in. Just uh, the Xenomorphs casually sashaying down the corridor. Uh, this one moves six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Enough to be in range of a pwn. Uh, he can't fire defensively. He's already engaged. Defense of five. Melee of two. <laughs> what? what? That's, that's three tens in a row on my melee. What is happening? Okay, uh, so do I take it on the body armor or the helmet? Uh, the helmet is an auto pass if I get a green. Defense is a reroll if I get a green or yellow. Let's take it on the body armor. Uh, so, revealing a card. No, <laughs> it's blue. Okay, so, yeah, opponent's dead. <laughs> opponent's dead as well. How did this go from so okay to terrible in one turn? What happened? Uh, and then this is the one from six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it turns out it isn't Ripley that's going to bleed us to death. It's all these xenomorphs eating us. Blips then. Uh, how far do the blips move? This conga line on this board. They move two. Uh, let's just get the two at the back and go there. They'll move up. Uh, blips on this board. They move four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Blips on that board. They move two. One, two, one, two. Probably can see it from there. It's four xenomorphs. Uh, Ripley can definitely see that. It's three. And you can draw a line of sight from Hicks to that one. It's one. So, four motion trackers. First one, blip on three. Uh, it's not in line of sight. It moves four. One, two, three, four. Next one. Blip on two, reveal a card. It's blue. Place another blip at spawn three. So one at three and one at two. Next one. Blip at three, the discard barricade, down if any to go. So we get a blip at three and one at one. Last one. Oh, great. So, <laughs> oh, great. Players must either choose to exhaust eight cards or discard a shoulder. Oh, oh, I do have a shoulder lamp. Get rid. Yes, get rid of the shoulder lamp. Okay, uh, but we still get two blips on one. Uh, one, two. Okay, uh, so we just lost half our team in uh, one turn. Great. And we are slowly getting surrounded by xenomorphs. Uh, so let's get some models for those on. Okay, so all the xenomorphs are on the board. Motion trackers have been done. Moving into turn 12. So, start the turn, let's have a peek at some of these motion tracker cards. Blip at four, blip at four, two at three. Oh, hang on. 
Each character in line of sight of one or more aliens must discard one card. We don't really have that many more to discard. Uh, I don't think we're going to survive that long anyway. So I think we'll leave them be. We need all the actions we can get. Start the turn. Ripley activates and immediately exhausts five cards. Four. We're out of cards, so have to discard one. And then she's got three actions. Uh, I don't know what to do. Well, we're kind of dead anyway at this point, aren't we? I think we might just Hail Mary with Ripley. Why not? We're, we know we're stuffed at this point, so we'll uh, get her to step up. One, two, so she can see that blip. It's two Xenomorphs. And we're going to fire a flamer onto that one there, because it will split fire to all of them. Splash damage. So spending, well, discarding two cards to do so. Uh, that stack of three there dies on seven or less. One dead, two dead, one lives. That one on its own, seven or less, dead. Those two, one dead, one lives. Okay, so they go down. One's left there. Yeah, let's uh, recycle six cards back in for her other two actions. Oh. End of the turn, we have to discard two because of a hazard, and we discard two because she can see some Xenomorphs thanks to the hazard. Hooray! Uh, let's get Higgs to activate. Great, the microscope. That'll save us. Uh, no, it won't. So we're not taking that for Hicks. Uh, what to do? We actually don't have enough cards to really fire off a smart gun, but we don't have a choice. So uh, discarding one... Well, yeah, exhausting two, discarding one to fire off Hicks's smart gun into that zoom off there, hitting on sixes or less. <laughs> Misses, of course he does. Uh, <laughs> we'll just get him to rest. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, okay, um, Drake, I guess, spending two cards to fire off his smart gun into that one directly in front of him. Oh, he actually kills it. Hooray. Then we shall spend another card to keep shooting into that one directly next to him. Hits on fours or less. Oh, it actually does. Kills that one too. Uh, so he should get some defensive fire. So we'll get him to rest to get three cards back in. And that's the Marines done. Right, it is time for the Xenomorph All You Can Eat Buffet. Alien phase. Uh, this one here, right next to Ripley, so she can't defensive fire, she had a flame anyway. Um, neither can Hicks, he can't really see because of where Ripley is. So, attacking Ripley, she has defensive 6 and a melee of 2. Uh, that knocks her down. Failed defense roll, let's. Uh, oh, actually, hang on, we've got uh, rerolling defense rolls they make keep in the second result. Let's reroll for Ripley because of that card. 3. So, yep, within defense, so she doesn't die from that Xenomorph attack. Hooray! What about the next one? One, two, three, four. That has a go. Exact same thing. Defense of six, melee of two. <laughs> okay. It's a different alien. We can re-roll. I can't believe how many tens I'm getting with this. Re-rolling. Okay, it still passes the defense. Ripley's okay for now. I can live with that. Um... Let's get this big stompy bunch of Xenomorphs to go and have a go at Drake. Uh, spending two cards to fire off his smart gun into him. Hitting on threes or less. Kills one. Spends another card. Twos or less. Yes. Kills two. Discard a card. Ones. Yeah, of course he didn't. But we managed to kill two. So, you never know. Might be a bit less severe. So, on his defense value then, of five in his melee of two, adding one to it because there's two Xenomorphs. Six becomes seven, he gets knocked down. This Xenomorph here will go after Hicks. One, two. Uh, uh, yeah, let's just discard some cards to fire off his smart gun. Discarding three cards, hitting on fives or less. Uh, yeah, kills it. Cool. Next one, one, two, three. Same deal, discard three cards. Hitting. Fours or less. Yes, kills it. Good job, Hicks. Um, this one comes along. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not in range. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. 
And let's go up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so didn't actually manage to kill us all in that turn like I thought they would. Uh, blips though, and there's a whole lot of them. Uh, blips on this board. They move three. One, two, three. Can be seen. Can be seen. Uh, the rest kind of can't. Uh, blips on this board. They move five. One, two, three, four, five. Call with the pack. Blips on this board. They move two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Uh, well, he's knocked down and that door's closed, so they can't see those ones for now. Uh, motion tracker cards. Blip on four. Uh, it's got a barricade. I'll put another up one. No barricades. One goes at one. Second one. Blip at four. If we already had one, it moves. There is one at four. It moves. One, two, three, four. Next one. Two blips at three. Each character in line of sight of one or more aliens must discard one card. So two blips on three. Two people can see them. Two cards discarded. Last one. Two blips on one. Either exhaust four cards or place another at four. I really don't think it matters at this point. Have yourself some delicious blips. Okay. So are there many more in sight? Just a uh, six round there. So let's get those on the board. Right. Looking very grim for our team of Marines as we move into turn 13. Uh, I don't think it matters about the motion tracker cards. I'm not even going to look at them with the eye on the ball. Uh, so Ripley immediately discards five cards because there's none to exhaust. <laughs> she gets three turns though. Uh, so let's fire off a flamer. Uh, hmm. Let's fire it off here. So kind of Burns that lot. Oh, actually, even better. We'll fire directly onto there so we can potentially get this blip as well. So, reveal this blip for the purpose of knowing how many we might kill. So, this one on his own, seven or less. Dead. This one, seven or less. Dead. There's a second one under there. Uh, lives. So, get rid of that and him. And this big old pile of four, seven or less. One dead. Two dead. Three dead. One lives. Yep. They're all gone. And then that pile of three that it's splashing onto. Seven or less. One dead. One lives. Do live. So let's just replace that for a two for now. So that was Ripley's first action. Uh, <laughs> do we just keep burning cards at this point? <laughs> We might as well, I mean, we're, we're basically dead anyway, so firing Flamer again there, discarding two cards. So unless on that guy, we're dead, that guy lives, those two, first one lives, both live, so one guy, dead. And uh, just rest and get three back in, why not? Uh, Hicks, let's get him to fire for smog on with those three that we just uh, <laughs> recycled back in. Onto this guy, sixes or less. Uh, kills one, discard a card to keep shooting. Fives or less onto the guy behind it. Kills him, discard another to that one there. Fours. Kills one, discard threes. <laughs> he actually manages to kill them all. Well done, Hicks. And you know what, you can see that one from there, why not? Discard another card. Twos. Nah, wishful thinking, but oh well. Good shooting from Hicks. Uh, we'll get him to rest and get three back in. And that's us done. And at the start of the ending phase, Drake gets captured off to the hive. So that Xenomorph that was with him goes away as well. Active Aliens. One next to Ripley. Takes a swipe. Uh, hits, uh, well, Ripley's defense is six and her melee is two. That's a seven. Um, let's use the reroll. That's a star. She kills it in melee. Very tidy. Uh, next one comes in. One, two. Has a swipe. Uh, Hicks could see it from there, so why not? Let's... Actually, no, let's... <laughs> why... No, you know what? Why not? Hit on twos. Ah, well. Uh, takes a swipe at Ripley. Defensive six, melee of two. She's fine. Does not kill it, but she is fine. 
Okay. Well, we know there's two there, so we'll get that to come round and have a swipe. Adding one to the result, Man of uh, defensive six uh, becomes four. They don't kill Ripley either. She is just not dying. Uh, these in the multiple six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And lips on this board. One. <laughs> okay. One. Uh, blips on this board. Four. One, two, three, four. Blips on this board. Two. One, two. Motion tracker cards. First one. Two blips on two. One, two. And exhaust four cards to place another at three. You can have that one at three. Next one. Blip at three. Exhaust one card for each character within line of seven. It spawns. Uh, no one can see it. Pops in there. Next one. Two blips at two. If there's one or more uh, hazards in the discard pile, randomly select one to shuffle back into the exhaust. Well, we know there is, because uh, we've put some in there. So we'll get the two blips at two up there, and then we'll get one of those hazards back in there. And then the last one, two blips at three, uh, and another at one. So one at one. Is that three? They're buried un yeah, it is. They're buried under so many blip tokens, it's hard to see. <laughs> okay, uh, moving into turn 14 then. Again, don't care about the motion trackers. Um, let's, well, we have to activate Ripley and she immediately discards five. One, two, three, four, five. There's only like four cards left to discard. So we, I think we're, we're, we're kind of done here. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, yeah, we really are because uh, even if I do nothing, like, she'll exhaust two and she'll discard two because she's in range of Xenomorphs. Uh, let's just discard two to find the Flamer, try and cook these two with us. So, find the Flamer there. That guy on seven or less lives. His mate dies at the one underneath him. Lives. It's a one Xenomorph dead. Why not? Blaze of Glory. Last two cards, same deal. Let's see if we can at least kill them. One dead. One lives. No. So, one lives. We are completely and utterly out of cards. Yeah, uh, there was no way that Ripley and Hicks were going to survive that mess. So, yeah, we might as well have just been through just to call it then and there. But, whoa, that went from really, really well to absolutely terrible in just a single turn. I can't believe we lost half the squad in one turn. And it was going so well. How did I roll three tens in a row? Oh, I had no idea what was going on with that. Right, okay. Lessons learned from this game then. One, this one, the tracker card, eye on the ball. Mega, mega useful. Um, the ability to play around with the motion tracker deck and know what's coming up, that is amazingly useful and what kind of allowed us to go as long and as well as we did. I definitely need to be playing that card a hell of a lot more. Second lesson learned, that hazard card. Uh, what I needed was this tactician one activated from the start instead of the re-equip. Yeah, the re-equip got us a lot of um, nice weaponry and stuff, but we didn't get the tactician one fast enough so maybe i should have got that before tracker but or just started with it but uh yeah it's definitely the the fact we had the hazard cards that we had to deal with and plus using enraged ripley uh, di uh exhausting five cards at the start yeah this it's good for a sprint but bug hunt missions aren't sprint ones are they they're endurance ones so i think regular ripley's profile might have actually been better so what have we learned Use regular Ripley. Eye on the ball is great. Make sure you've got the be an example tactician card to start with. And the re-equip is useful, but you don't have a choice in whether you have to draw at the start of activating Grunt. So, yeah, that is the serving we got in this another glorious day in the court. Thank you for joining me on this one. I've had a blast with it, even though it went terribly, terribly wrong at the end there. Hope you enjoyed it too, and we'll see you in another one.